Even if the internal conflicts influence the health of the Egyptian state, external military conflicts further weakens the empire. A big blow happened in 7th century BC. The nearby Assyrians invaded Egypt. The Assyrians occupied Memphis, sacked the temples of Thebes, and reigned until 627 BC. During this time period, the Egyptian climate contributed to the fall of ancient Egypt in other ways. The Nile River, which was the primary resource of water for drinking and crop irrigation, was a temperamental river, known for flooding and periods of low water levels. This caused widespread hunger, and thousands of Egyptians died from dehydration and starvation. While experts believe the low water in the Nile was the primary influence for the fall of ancient Egypt, during the later period in the empire's existence, a two to three decade period was marked by erratic flooding of the Nile, destroying crops and starving the people depended on them. The Assyrians left control of Egypt to a series of vassals who became known as the Sight Kings of the 26th Dynasty, even if the Assyrians were pushed back. The economy and culture were revitalized, but in 525 BC, a new danger appeared. The mighty Persian Empire began the conquest of Egypt, capturing the pharaoh Samtik III at the Battle of Pelusium. The Persian king assumed the formal title of pharaoh, but ruled Egypt from Iran, leaving Egypt under the control of a satrapy. At the end of this extended period of political and economic unrest and devastating climate issues, Egypt had lost most of its land and became a mere province within the Persian Empire. Revolts happened, thousands of its people had died, and the public was increasingly dissatisfied with both their political and religious leaders. Alexander the Great conquered the Persian Empire and was welcomed by the Egyptians as a savior. The administration established by Alexander's successors, the Macedonian Ptolemaic Kingdom, was based on an Egyptian model and based in the new capital of Alexandria. The city showcased the power and prestige of Hellenistic rule and became a seat of learning and culture. Continued Egyptian revolts, ambitious politicians, and powerful opponents from the Near East made this situation unstable, leading Rome to send forces to secure the country as a province of its empire. Christianity began to spread through Egypt and with it the Greek alphabet, both transforming key features of the ancient culture that we know and recognize today. Adopting a new religion, where the old religion had been a major cultural force in the Egyptian empire, led to the end of practices such as mummification that the ancient Egyptians were well known for. Similarly, adoption of the Greek alphabet led to the disuse of hieroglyphics, another key feature of Egypt that we have with us today. These shifts signals the true fall of ancient Egypt, although the forces that drove the decline had been operating for a considerable time period. In the 4th century, as the Roman Empire divided, Egypt found itself in the Eastern Empire. In the waning years of the empire, Egypt fell to the Sasanian Persian army, 618 to 628 AD, and was recaptured by the Roman Emperor Heraclius, 629 to 639 AD, and then was finally captured by the Muslim Rashidun army in 639 to 641 AD, ending Roman rule. In its last centuries, from its internal problems until the Arab conquest, the Egyptian civilization was more and more influenced by the outside world. Having their own problems, the Kingdom of the Nile couldn't resist against foreign influences. Persians, Greeks, and Romans shaped their culture, traditions, language, and religion. 